Hey guys, a lot of you have asked what it was like going back to the set of that 90s show. And by the way, thank you so much for your support with the show and how much you guys love it. And I'm so thrilled for the whole 90s show team, the cast, the crew, everybody, because it's so great and it's such an incredible reboot. Um, but you guys have been asking what it was like going back since you guys know a lot of the sets are the same and everything. First of all, I really missed my red hair. <laughs> I'm a natural redhead and I went dark uh, for orange uh, for Alex Voss, who I miss. Um, and I miss Donna, so that's why it was so fun to be able to reprise her, bring her back to life, step back in her clogs again. Um, but I really did miss the red and it was so awesome uh, being able to step back into that character. And yeah, so that was awesome first off. And being on set again, a lot of those sets are the same. There's, you know, the basement, the dining room, the kitchen set, my bedroom set. All that stuff is the same. And we have the same set designer. We have a lot of the same team actually from wardrobe to uh, production, um, set production and hair and makeup. It was so awesome going back and seeing everybody. It was like the most amazing reunion. Um, but a lot of the sets are the same, but it was like, what would the 70s sets be realistically in Red and Kitty's house? And what they did was they basically, so geniusly, because it was so great, they basically just, like anybody's house, what would it be like, you know, 20 years later? So they actually moved the old 70s show living room couch down into the basement. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. The couch in the basement of the current 90s show is actually the couch that used to be in the, in the living room in the Foreman house on our show. Um, so that little things like that that are, that are so cute, which you'll do, you know, like my mom will move a couch down to like the basement when they're like over it and getting new stuff. And so it was it was so well done. But when I when I first walked on set, I got so emotional. I really did. I walked on set. I got emotional. I couldn't believe how similar it was, how I felt like, oh my gosh, this is so nostalgic, but how I literally felt like I was right back again. Okay, so we're about to rehearse, but this is my view for eight years in the exact same set now. For eight years, this is my view when we're sitting on the couch in the basement, looking straight up at you guys. There's our audience, that's where they sit. And then the four cameras are here. Pretty cool. The 360 scenes were amazing. What's interesting is when we were doing 360 scenes on 70 show, there would be a cameraman in the middle, his name was Bats. He always did the 360 scenes. And we would sit around in chairs and he would be standing in the middle, turning the camera to each of us and he would know his cue line to turn. But what's funny is, talk about being old school, which I like to think I am. Nowadays, they try to do it with remote control. So they try to like remotely do the camera, but it's never quite right. And what's interesting is this scene that we tried to do remotely, we ended up actually the next 360 scene doing it with a, a camera person in the middle physically doing it because it's just so much better and nothing beats that natural kind of learning the beats and the feel for it. And it really is this kind of organic thing. Little piece of trivia. So when I was directing Orange, I did a little tip of the hat to a 360 scene. Which one of you guys can tell me in the comments below which episode that was and which scene that was? <laughs> I did a little tip of the hat to that. I'm wondering if any of you guys know which scene that was. To be able to direct 90s was so special and so incredible. I just felt like a fish in water. I absolutely loved it. I mean, you guys have to understand, multi-camera comedy, I mean, this was my breeding ground. You know, I started 70s when I was 18 years old. I did it for eight years. I would. We had the same director for every episode, okay? 200 episodes, except for the pilot, which was directed by someone named Terry Hughes. David Trainer was our director for every episode. He was a father figure to us. We love him so much. 
Um, and I would just follow him around <laughs> because I knew very young I wanted to be a director. So to be able to come back, especially with the same sets, and direct this phenomenal cast, all the new kids who were so great, and then of course Deborah Jo and Kurtwood, and I got to direct Wilmer, which was so much fun, and I just had an absolute blast. The other thing that was so awesome about being on 90s was reuniting with old friends, and it was so special for all of us. You filming something? Yeah. What are you filming? Are you trying to film other people? Are you trying to film anyone else? Because <laughs> you guys have to understand, like we, grew up together. I mean, when I got the show, like I said, I was 18. Mila, I think was like 14, you know? So it was just like formidable years, amazing years. And to be back with that in such a great environment, it was just so special. I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for your questions and comments. As always, please let me know. I love hearing feedback from you. I love hearing that you guys want to know more about certain things and just let me know. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know when I put up a new video and I'll see you guys soon.